another Stay Fresh production. Once again, wearing this shirt in this room because we're shooting this on the same day. And once again, today we're talking about the House of Raja Parfums. If you missed the first installment of this collection series, check it out here. Don't miss it. You gotta see all of these because these are all bangers. And this second one up is no exception. We're talking about the Parfum Cologne Collection from the House of Raja Parfums. And again, beautiful presentation. You slide it up from the bottom and you can see what we're talking about today. A lot of you guys are asking me about this one, what I think about it. Vetiver. I'm gonna pull this out and I'm actually gonna show this to you again next to the originator of this collection, Elysium. You can see similar bottle design with the gold cap, heavy gold cap with the beautiful details. You can see Raja's signature on the neck, as well as on the top of the caps here. You've heard me talk about Elysium a lot before if you've been watching the channel. So we'll put this down, but just know that's granddaddy. And this is Vetiver, based on Vetiver Pour Homme, which was a popular scent from Raja, well over a few years old at this point. And this is kind of reinvigorating that fragrance, man. Here's what I gotta say. I'm gonna try to keep this simple like I did the last review. Tom Ford Gray Vetiver, but better. Oh! If you smell Tom Ford Gray Vetiver, particularly the Eau de Parfum concentration, then this is in that direction. This is very similar to that. That type of very clean and cooling vetiver with a little bit of woodiness to it, a little bit of citrus, but it's so much more complex and rich and interesting, at least to me. I kind of got tired of gray vetiver and ended up selling it off. But this is the gray vetiver I wish I had, but I'm glad that it is what it is. This is simply vetiver from Roger Parfums. And what you get out of this, lots of citruses, lemon and bergamot. I think Raja likes that combination and it is gorgeous off of the first spray. And into the heart, a floral heart, Again, Roger likes his florals in the heart. We got rose, we have jasmine, and cistus, which if I'm not mistaken, is also called rock rose, and that is the flower that labdanum comes from. And in the base, again, lots of hefty base notes here. Things like pepper, obviously vetiver is in the base here. Cedar wood, cedar needles. There's some other woods and resins, and. Man, again, so much complexity and the beautiful thing about that is it allows it to smell a little bit different on everyone who wears it. So what this smells like, again, Tom Ford Grey Vetiver, but with more of a punch to it and a smokiness in the background. I get this kind of dark smokiness. I think it comes from the cedar wood. Smoky, almost, people give that pencil shavings vibe. It's kind of here, it's very, earthy it's like i'm out in the woods not the forest but the woods and there's like wood chips on the ground but the air is fresh and clean man this is so elegant super elegant the beautiful thing about these fragrances is that again the concentration part from cologne it makes it light and kind of transparent but there is some density and oomph to it it will last on the skin a good seven eight hours if not more for me, this lasts pretty much all day, especially if I spray, if I'm wearing a collared shirt, I would spray inside the collar on my collarbones. That's actually something that I learned from Raja and it has changed my fragrant life. <laughs> I have to say that, that sounds extreme, but it's the truth. I spray my normal routine. I do two in the back here, two in the back here, one to two in the back of the neck, and then I'll put one inside the collar Again, if I'm wearing a shirt that allows the collar to be a little bit more exposed and not only will it last longer in the day, but I'll also be able to smell it even better throughout the day. The whole day it'll be wafting in the most beautiful way. It changed my life. So I recommend you give that a try. Let me know what you think. But that is all I have to say about Vetiver. 
There's a lot more that could be said. I could break down all the notes and how they work together, but I just wanted to make this digestible and accessible and a way for you to kind of understand what it smells like to me and encourage you to check it out. So once again, at the time of recording this, I don't think these fragrances in this collection are available yet, other than Elysium. And if they do become available at any time, then there will be a link in the description where you can check them out, at least to get samples. So that is Vetiver, Parfum Cologne from Roger Parfums. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.